What's up, Elk City? Hey, um, first, uh, my name is Trevor Stewart. I'm the executive director of Oklahoma Free Will. And uh, first, I want to invite uh, Mayor Hilton up here, real quick. Uh, the, the great mayor of the great city of Elk City. So. How do you follow that kind of music and that wonderful As you said, I'm the mayor of Elk City and um, I want to come to well or have come to welcome uh, the Oklahoma Free Will to our city. How many of you have been in Elk City before? Are you enjoying yourself? I'm going to shout out to our tourism uh, CBB director Julie Lenny Escobar and the fire department. Jimmy and Kathy and uh, Spencer Smith, they've been a large... <laughs> we hadn't had a nap today. <laughs> but anyway, on the behalf of uh, the City of Elk City, we want to welcome you. And I hope you all are, have a safe trip. And have a safe, but you have a uh, safe trip, and we're, we're very honored that you chose Elk City as your kickoff. For, um, for this year. Um, and uh, congratulations to the Oklahoma Free Will on the 40th edition of the Free Will. That uh, speaks wonderful, speaks volumes to your organization. And we are, like I said, we're so glad that you all have chosen Elk City for your kickoff this year. Like I said, we hadn't had a nap. None of us. So, yes, and uh, uh, hats off to Brad for your hard work. Thank you. Hey, watch out. He's coming for choosing us and the organization. We have a two-way to the organization. Hey, can I ask? Sorry. I see some of y'all saying you can't hear me. Anyway, and I know he's going to come up here in just a minute, but uh, Mayor Brown from Weatherford is over here stalking us. <laughs> There he is. Over there. But anyway, I know that you, that's going to be on your next stop. And like I said, I just want you to welcome, feel welcome. If you need anything, catch one of us, and we'll do what we can to help you out. So, like I said, welcome to Elk City, and we're glad you're here. And we hope you come back. Thank you, Mayor, for having us, Julie. This is Julie. This is the one that I've been bugging for since yeah November. So. Uh, with constant emails and yes. wanting updates and then you guys email me I email her so this is how it flows right here uh, then it flows back so but um, I'll let her talk and uh, thank you very much all right so I'm I'm known to I'll get in a microphone so hopefully everyone give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and we're doing a little bit better I just want to say thank you so much I hope you're enjoying your stay in Elk City we've absolutely been honored to be your kickoff point um, if there's anything that you can need that you've needed, I hope you've found us over here. If not, make sure you come by and get the freebies that we have for you guys um, to enjoy for the rest of your week. Um, make sure you're staying nice and cool. We have the cooling stations over here for you if you haven't found those yet. And of course, tomorrow morning we will be serving breakfast in the cafeteria that's just on the north side of the camping area. Please come and join us. We have our local FFA that's going to be providing some of that good blue and gold sausage and bacon. Um, so come and enjoy that. Uh, and then um, also know tonight until 8 o'clock, if Trevor doesn't take this meeting too terribly late, we do still have community s'mores. Come and enjoy. We have several locals out here. We also have the pool open lake for you guys to enjoy to go to cool off, have your wristbands. You can get in for free. Um, that's open until 8. And then we do have our park activities. We will be respectful because we know you have a very early morning. But thank you again for coming to Elk City. And uh, come back and see us. Okay, now for the boring part. Uh, 
Well, I want first of all thank you all for coming, especially uh, anybody here that's you know from out of state, from out of the country, from out of Elk City. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you to everybody from Elk City for having us here. We really appreciate it. This has been an amazing day, and I'm so excited to see uh, everybody, all these faces. This is a great meeting. I want our meetings to look like this every week at seven o'clock. Okay, people, remember that. Okay, uh, every, not every day. Yeah, well. Well, yeah, if you want to keep doing this. Um, first, I want to thank our sponsors, some of our big sponsors, uh, Superior Linen, providing us with uh, clean towels for every day so you guys don't have to haul them around, you don't have to pack those wet towels. So Superior Linen, they're awesome. They're a bicycle-friendly business, and so they love bicycles. They all ride, or a lot of them ride. So uh, just remember that if you have a business or you need uh, towels and stuff. And Central Tech. Uh, for donating that truck right there and Ooh. Jeff he's around somewhere for driving it this year he's back up, uh, and, uh, and they're taking that truck across the state and with us and hauling all of our luggage so we don't have to haul it and it's amazing so just want to thank them too and Tom Brown Tom's bike shop for being here today uh, we'll have an amazing thank you for helping us get our rigs ready and make sure if you're, uh, you're over there in Tulsa Go by, see Tom, the uh, boys over there. Also, want to thank Spokehouse, who, who will be here later this week. Um, if you can't get into Tom's because they're too busy, go over to Spokehouse and get them too. But uh, and then also District Bicycles and Stillwater—they've helped out so much with all of our stuff. We've done a lot with them, um, just you know, helping gear and everything like that. So I really appreciate their help. Okay, now if you lost something or found something. We have a loss of town at the trailer, so just uh, come on over there. Uh, we're going to start tomorrow at the trailer. We have a sign up for the talent show on Friday. So you got all week to work on your talent, okay? And we have the talent show. We got a little bit better system. We actually got mic stands this year, so we don't have to have someone hold it. Um, so uh, we actually, we're growing here. We're getting better. But uh, remember the talent show? Uh, we we're, were able to hook up two guitars or uh, plug in at least up to three things. So uh, if you have something you really want to rock out to, uh, we can do that. Uh, but sign up at the trailer throughout the week and we'll have that on Friday at the, right after the end of trail dinner uh, in uh, Miami. Don't forget the charging stations back there. It's always by pretty much by the shower truck. So the charging station and the shower truck will be open till eight o'clock or nine o'clock every night. So uh, please don't be like me and go to the shower trailer at 8.59. Okay? Get there early. Uh, take a shower. We want you smelling good in the town, okay? You can smell bad out there on the road, but when you get to the town, we want to show off and, you know, look clean and everything like that. So make sure you take a shower. You got the, the clean towel, so uh, it's not hard. Um, hey, uh, most of you know, um, if you're out on the road, you see our SAG uh, drivers, make sure, first of all, thank you, thank them for volunteering and being SAG. That's it. It's a boring job sometimes, uh, especially when you guys are all healthy and stuff. So, uh, but if you need help and you see them driving by, they'll have the magnets on the cars, and we're bringing back the old gold uh, uh, window flag thing. So you'll see those flapping in the wind. So um, just make sure you know tap on your head or your helmet, and uh, that's kind of you know the universal signal that I need something. So, um, and then the SAG number on there will go. Uh, if you need anything, just call that. Uh, a lot of you I know have my number. Call that if you need help with anything. Um, we'll have two troopers out there. The troopers, we, we give them a little ice chest of water to have with them in case they see anybody in distress. So if you they try to offer you water, it's not their water, okay? Uh, it's for you. So uh, it means you look really bad and they're giving you water. So, uh, so and on, on that point, hydrate. It's a little toasty and it's gonna get maybe, maybe a little bit more um, and it's going to get humid, so uh, hydrate, 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 uh, electrolytes, we have some Pedialyte at the trailer if you need it, uh, Gatorade, stuff like that, uh, just come up and ask and we'll get you some, but stay hydrated. There's always going to be cold ice water in at least two jugs at the trailer 24 hours a day. Well, just that. not the time when I'm driving from town to town, but in the morning and then once we get everything set up at 10 o'clock in the trailer, We'll leave it out throughout the night. There's always going to be water for you guys, okay? And we will make sure it's filled. 
And if it's not filled, you yell at me, you find me, and I will fill it up. We'll get it, get ice in there, okay? So stay hydrated. You have no excuse. I want, we have, we pay a lot of money for all these uh, porta potties and stuff like that. So fill them up, okay? You know? And it's a little brown out there. So stop alongside the road, okay? Help out. Help out your local farmers and stuff. So um, I don't actually know if that helps, but so if I'm wrong, sorry. Um, Remember, your first water stop opens at 7 a.m. Um, and thanks once again to the Road Angels for being out there every day for the two water stops. Also, want to thank Dennis. Uh, the Road Angels are absolutely amazing. They're out there today. Uh, Dennis is out there today. Um, they'll be out there all week. So uh, just you know, thank them. Make sure tip them, whatever. Show them your gratitude. They do this, you know, mostly out of the kindness of their heart. And they do something because they like you. But, uh, you know, and they want you to be safe and full and, you know, hydrated and everything. So, uh, but just, you know, make sure, say hi, say thank you. And uh, don't take their space in the indoor camp either. We will let you do. So. Okay, uh, tomorrow... Um, Tomorrow and uh, Monday are both kind of short days. So it's really kind of, you know, can't really organize lunch stops because you guys are probably going to get into towns for lunch, more or less. But uh, Clinton will be your official nope. lunch nope. stop if you're hungry. There's, you're going to come right into town. And, uh, you know, if you, there's a McDonald's, some other restaurants. Um, the last restaurant as you're leaving uh, Clinton is um, Sonic. So uh, he has some options if you're hungry in the morning or, you know, when, when you get over there. Um, but there's nothing organized the next two days, uh, just for a simple fact that you guys are going to be in the next town by lunchtime, really. So, um, uh, but we'll talk about the other towns tomorrow, but uh, just remember that. And then remember, as you're going into Clinton, uh, there's a couple uh, railroad tracks you'll be crossing that are kind of at wonky angles. So uh, hopefully my big caution paint and everything is still there. Um, so just watch out for them, you know, take them head on, uh, you know, straight on. and. Uh, uh, just be safe getting into being safe remember if you leave before dark in oklahoma you got to have red tail light white front light okay so if you're leaving before dark make sure you have lights route 66 out here especially this whole western side is pretty narrow um it's not a lot of traffic a lot of you saw today so um you know but just make sure be safe and watch out um especially you know the old concrete you got those cracks in there so heads up on that okay there's no way in, I mean, we would we would have to start last year to mark every single crack on the, those roads. So um, it's Oklahoma, and it's also that old concrete. So uh, watch out for that, and then watch out. Some of those sections of Route 66 have like these little tiny curbs. You probably saw some of those today. So also watch out for those, okay? Um, they're kind of rounded, they're small, but you know, if you kind of hit them and you're not paying attention, kind of you know, freak you out, do that. All right freaked out one time I hit him so so if it can happen to me then then you guys would be all good so um let's see lights uh there's um we shouldn't be too bad tomorrow but just uh there's a right which you're almost in a weatherford there's just a little oil field traffic in there so just watch out uh, be safe it's usually it's not on route 66 as we uh, we noticed but it's on the crossings so just kind of heads up on that um it shouldn't be too bad um and then um let's see okay when you're leaving here tomorrow you're gonna go out back out the road here you came in on and you're gonna take route 66 down and it's gonna kind of wind around through uh, elk city here you're gonna get to um highway uh, state route 34 and it's gonna be a left you're gonna take a left at the light and it's a quick right like onto the frontage road it's right there by the loves you'll see it um i hope we marked it well enough for you but just a heads up, it's kind of a, if you keep going straight, you're going to end up on I-40. And we don't want that, okay? So uh, you're going to hit that light. And it's all marked. There's a bunch of Dan Henry's in the road. And, uh, you know, you turn left, then you quick right, right there by the loves. And then you're on, and you just keep going. Uh, tomorrow, there's not a lot of turns. So the, uh, if you look at the route map books, all you're doing is pretty much crossing I-40 a couple times. So uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, when you get to the bike, or the the water stops, 
Uh, just make sure a um, couple of spots that could be get congested. Um, don't lay your bikes or park your bikes in the middle of the road. Uh, there still is traffic out there, even though it's pretty light and you know it's pretty good over here. But I don't want to see you get hit, and I don't want to deal with the mad motorist and because they ran over your bike and then I have to try to get you home and stuff like that. So. Uh, don't leave your bike in the road. Uh, get it off the side. Uh, be safe and uh, just be, and be uh, considerate out there. Okay. Um, premium camping. If you guys are doing the premium camping, uh, try to get out by seven. Um, get your bags out right there in front of your tents uh, so they can get those torn down so uh, they can get those moved over. So uh, other than that, as long everybody else, you have to have your bags over to the Central Tech truck by 8 a.m. Okay, if you don't have it there by 8 a.m., we are leaving you behind. Okay, or you gotta put your bags on your bike and ride to the next town. I'm not gonna leave you, but please get them on there by eight, so then I don't have to get them in or something like that, I don't have to worry. Um, if you didn't sign up for the tech service, do that. There's uh, signs over there by the trailer. Uh, just scan it and it'll sign you up or you text, uh, should have wrote it down. 411144, something like that. Half hour ago, saying the meeting to seven. And also, it'll let you know if there's anything, you know, uh, you know, God forbid, like a tornado or something like that, or we have some severe weather or something like that. We'll text that out to you, tell you what's going on, what to do. So um, it's easy, it's cheap, and uh, we're actually going to use it this year. So sign up for it. Because um, I've actually got other people to do it, because I'll forget. So uh, sign up for that. It's a lot of good information and we're not going to bombard you, send you texts, you know, throughout the day and stuff, except for, I mean, we'll just text you and say hi, but, um, I won't do that. Trust me. Um, let's see, uh, Pork Billy, their hotel trailer has some openings. So if you have any questions, uh, I think you might want to, you know, go check out that hotel trailer, uh, go talk to Bob and, uh, everybody over there. They'd be more than happy to show you how it works, how much it is. And, uh, all that good stuff. And it's pretty nice because they got air conditioning all night. And then um, gravel riders. First of all, this is your stake, uh, Victoria tape with uh, orange and green. Okay, uh, so it's to tell you your turns. So you got one at the turn, or before the turn, one after the turn to kind of feel good. So uh, these are your stakes, and you're using uh, orange uh, paint on the road with the G in it. Everybody else is using the yellow paint with the uh, the FW in it, or outside of it, as Ross did. We miscommunicated. Uh, Ross does not listen very well, so. Okay, so I think that is actually all I got. It's amazing. I'll have way more to know. Uh, hopefully the rest of the means will be short and sweet. But uh, before I end, I want to invite uh, Mayor Brown from uh, Weatherford up here to kind of tell you what's going on tomorrow. And uh, so thank you, Oak City. Thank you very much. We love you. You did a great job. Uh, Mayor Brown, thank you. Thank you, Trevor. Uh, on behalf of the city of Weatherford, I want to be the first one to uh, welcome you to our community tomorrow. Uh, you know, we just feel uh, honored to be uh, part of Free Will. And, uh, uh, you know, one thing about Western Oklahoma, we take a lot of pride. And uh, I think you can tell that with Elk City, the uh, uh, what they've put on, doing an outstanding job. In fact, I'm going to have to go back and decide what else we can add between now and uh, uh, tomorrow. But, uh, you know, the other thing that I think about Western Oklahoma, you know, I tell people you can be anything you want to be. And I've been the mayor for 15 years. And, you know, I asked my wife, I said, do you ever in your wildest dreams think I'd be the mayor? She said, well, first of all, you've never been in my wildest dreams. So, you know, the, uh, uh, a lot of times you don't get a lot of uh, uh, respect, but, uh, uh, you know, we do have a lot of things planned tomorrow. Uh, we, we have one of the uh, finest air and space museums in Weatherford, and we'll be running a shuttle back and forth to that. Uh, uh, General Tom Stafford was born in Weatherford, and uh, he's given back a lot. We've got a lot of Smithsonian-type Smithsonian, uh, artifacts there, so that's something that you want to uh, definitely do. And we'll be, like I said, uh, having sh uh, shuttle going all day uh, back and forth to that. We also have the Heartland Museum uh, that'll be open that has uh, a lot of things about some of the local culture out here, uh, anything from the Indian to the Mennonite to uh, uh, different groups that uh, have kind of made Western Oklahoma around Weatherford. Uh, we've got a lot of food. We've got a lot of entertainment. Uh, we're actually going to be set up in a park right by City Hall, and there's one of the oldest uh, uh, Mexican food places uh, there in town. They've been cooking in Weatherford for about 50 years. 
Uh, they've got, you know, great food, uh, authentic Mexican food, uh, good margaritas, uh, you know, the, uh, a lot of stuff that'll be fun. We also, of course, will have the uh, food trucks. Uh, one that I might mention is uh, uh, called the Burlap Napkin. Uh, one of their specialties, which I, I kind of like, it's a uh, uh, grilled cheese on Texas toast with uh, bacon and homemade blackberry preserves. And so uh, if you haven't had it, it's like $4, uh, but it's like really good. So uh, uh, when Trevor said Clinton's like your lunch stop, forget that. Uh, Weather's got a, uh, uh, a lot better places, and uh, uh, we'll provide places right there as well as uh, uh, be able to kind of guide you along to some of the, uh, the best places in town that we think uh, uh, you'll enjoy. So it's going to be hot. I wish I could tell you it's going to be 20 degrees uh, cooler over there, but uh, uh, you know we'll try to make it as comfortable as we can for you. And uh, we, we're just like Elk City. We're just uh, uh, glad to be a part of this, and uh, you know hope that your stay there will be as good as what's been here in Elk City. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. I'm sure everybody looks forward to getting there tomorrow. Uh, you had one more thing. Before we bring Slim Pickens back up here on the stage, there's two things I wanted to do. First and foremost, we should have done this, and I'm not sure if I missed it. But if you're from Elk City, Oklahoma, can I hear you real loud? Come on, Elk City, I know you're out there. These are our locals. This is the free will, and so we're happy to have you guys, and I felt horrible not doing that introduction. But um, I do want to do some housekeeping. There are some very important people that we do want to thank. Um, this morning, if, if several of you did the day zero, our Oklahoma Western Peddlers Association. Um, they they were the ones that were hauling your bikes and everything. Make sure you, if you see them, thank them. That was a lot of hard work and coordination on their part. We also have our Elk City Parks Department that has worked extremely hard. They're out there taking care of the trash. If you need anything, make sure you hunt them down. But thank you, Billy Thornton and his crew have been working hard. Um, we also have the Elk City Fire Department that's doing the s'mores and we want to thank them for coming out and um, doing that with us. Our food trucks that we have, several of them are local and we're happy they've hung out all day with us. So thank you to them. And then also tomorrow we do have the FFA that will be doing your breakfast in our um, Western Oka or the Western Down Plains, the Western Plains Down Bikers Association is who's going to be running your, uh, helping you load your luggage truck tomorrow. So thank you to them because I know we have a few of them here too. And then I just really wanted to say thank you to Trevor. That's why I wanted to come back up here because I hope you guys realize what a gym you have. He has done an exceptional job keeping all of us host cities informed. I, 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 I know several of us were nervous, and he keeps us calm, and, and he says, you guys are the best crowd, and I have to tell you, out of all the groups we've hosted, you're some of the most organized, some of the friendliest, and I hope by tomorrow morning we'll be able to say you're the, clean, you're the cleanest group we've had. <laughs> so do enjoy Elk City. Make sure you take in all the attractions and, and all the stuff that we have opened up late for you guys tonight. But again, thank you, Trevor, and your wonderful organization, and we hope you come back. Yeah. So we're going to have Slim Pickens come back up. I'm done. Let's get the music started. Thank you. Love you guys.